Hello everyone, I'm Chad Smith and today I'm going to demonstrate using the GE Global Discovery Server to securely connect a Simplicity OPC UA client to an OPC UA server. I'll start by setting up a Simplicity project. Create a project, we'll enable OPC UA client. And if you look first of all under the equipment folder when you go to set up your devices you can see this little configuration tool for OPC security configuration. So all the thing you have to do is enable security, uh, specify where your GDS is if this is the first time you're doing this. Obviously we need to log in to the GDS so that it's a secure connection. And then Simplicity, this Simplicity tool will take care of the rest for you. You can see what it's doing here. It's registering the application, creating a self-signed certificate. Then it's going to sign that certificate with the GDS. And then replace the trust lists, or update the trust list uh, for the Simplicity application. And that's all you need to do for Simplicity. Now we'll set up the GDS enabled server. This is a server that we've written with that supports the OPC UA Part 12 specification with the information model that uh, works with the GDS. So now we have the push server enabled. We're going to, uh, or running, we're now going to enable it and register it with the GDS. So you can see we have an option to get uh, set up a new server. So you can see this, uh, the push server is on the local machine, so it's discovered by the local discovery server. So we'll select that guy there. It fills in the fields for us, it's a server. Its push interface is enabled. So now we'll register it with the GDS. Save it. So now that we're registered and we're not, we're not yet uh, signed, Let's go back to the Simplicity configuration and create ourselves a device. Hit OK, and then we'll go to the OPC UA configuration and we'll browse for that server. In the global directory, you can see because it was registered, now we have the push server endpoints that we can choose to connect to. Now, if we hit test connection now, because the push server is not yet signed by the global discovery server, you can see that uh, we're untrusted. So that, that operation doesn't work right away until we go back to the agent, go to the Certificate Management tab, sign the certificate. Now when we hit Sign Certificate, we have to log in to the push server so that we securely communicate with it. So we'll call that demo demo, save that password so we don't have to see this uh, dialog anymore. So now we're communicating over to the push server, pulling back its certificate, signing it. Now that we have it signed by the GDS, we're going to push it back over to the to the push server. So then we're going to replace the push server's trust list with the GDS trust list and push that over to the server as well. So now that we've done that, when we go back to Simplicity and hit Test Connection, you can see that we're now, we're now connected securely. Okay, just to show that we really are talking, let's go create a point in Simplicity. Create a new point, we'll call it Vendor. We're gonna go look at uh, who owns this server. We're gonna go browse the server and select its server info and find who owns this uh, owns this license. So if we start the Simplicity project now, all right, now we can go see that we're communicating and, and you can see we retrieve back that this server is licensed to GE Intelligent Platforms.